ulika tono winza gogule nzijini wataba zigala tuagalo kweba za Olwe kanisha, olwe waba wedes, olwe vya alo vya foru, ama wanga, we thank you. Maraku shika vraba jota la baba, rapata labu shika vraba baba, ranto shika vraba baba, jele kata vraba baba, rapata labu shika vraba baba, marakata labu shika vraba baba, jala kata la baba, rakasha kabra baba, rapata laba baba, jala kata labu shika vraba baba, marakata labu juka vraba baba, jele kata vraba baba, maraka baba baba, marapa we thank you for the miracles we thank you for the ministry of the word we thank you maku shakarababa Yanta kababa, rapata labu shika rababa, rasata kababa, marakata labu shika rababa, marakata lababa, mashala kababa. Yanta kababa, maripa talabu shika rababa. We thank you, malatusa takababa, maripa talabu shika rababa. Shala katalababa, marapa talabu shika rababa. We are favored and increasing. We are multiplying and getting bigger. Maripa talabu shika rababa, rakata labu shika rababa. Yana rakababa. Yanta kababa, marapa talabu shika rababa, shaka talabra katalabu shika rababa, rata kababa, marapa talabu shika rababa, maraka talabu rababa, mashana rababa, maraka talabu shika rababa, maraka talabu shata rababa, marapa talabu rababa, maraka rababa, mashana ripa talabu shaka rababa, maraka yababa, marapa talabu Kusaka rababa, mashala kababa, maripata lababa, mashaka rababa, lakusaka rababa. Yana rapata la baba, marapata la bushika rababa. Yana raka baba, shaka la bushile para baba, maripa para bushata rababa. Yana raka baba, yana rasa la baba, maripata la bushika rababa. Mashana raka baba, yana rika baba. We thank you for your open nations for Russia. We thank you, manta la baba, marika baba, mashata la baba, mar. Raka baba ba, mashala kabra baba, maripa tala bushi kabri baba, marapa tala baba, mashata raka tala la uzalado, paraka ya baba, mashana raka baba ba, maripa tala baba. We are advancing like never before. We are progressing like never before. Our money has multiplied like never before, and the grace of God has multiplied upon our lives like never before. Le paro shata kabaya. We cannot be poor anymore. We cannot fail anymore. We cannot be sick anymore. Confusion is gone in the name of Jesus. Maripa talabu shika rakaya and the grace of God increases upon our lives like never before. Shata rapata kaba. Ripa talabu shika rababa. Maripa talabu shaka rababa. Mashana rababa. Marapa talababa. Maku shika rababa. Maripa talabu shaka rababa. Mashana rakababa. Marapa talabu shalaka rababa. Mantalakaya. Mantalabu shika rababa. Maripa talabu shaka rababa. Shilikita rababa. Marakata la bushaka rababa, shala kata la baba. Marapata la bushala kababa, maripita la baba, maripata la bushaka rababa, shana rakababa, marapata la baba, marapata la bushaka rababa, mashana rababa, marika baba, mashata la baba, marapata la baba, maripata la bushaka rababa, shata la maya, marapata la baba. Makushaka rababa, maripata la bushika rababa. Yanda kataya, ripata la baba. Yanta kababa baba, yanta la bushaka rababa. Shaka raka baba baba, shili kiteli paru shata kababa. Maripata la baba, mashata rababa. Maripata la baba, maribu shata kababa. Mashili kita la baba, rakata la baba, rakazata la baba. Mashana raka baba, marapata la baba, maripa sukari baba. 
Rekete la ba ba ba, rakazato la taleba, jana rakaba ba ba, marapata la ba ba. We advance like never before, we increase like never before, and the glory of God shines upon our lives like never before. Maripata la bu, shaka ra ba ba, jana rakaba ba ba, marapata la ba ba, masha la ba ba, marakaba ba ba, masha ta la ba ba, marapata la ba ba, masha la ba ba, rakaba rakaba ba ba. Yanta kababa, maripata la bu shapara kababa, marapata la baba. We carry the spirit of dominion, la kuzala tarabu shata, rekata la baba. I carry dominion, la tu shata kababa, maripata la baba, mashala kabra baba. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, wonderful Master. Hallelujah. Akam kusaba imuka kuvigere bote nze mukama. To swabuli ramokaga, uh wabira uksawa kwaba chala kuva sawa birich tu kumina bidinech tundu, paka sawa bidinech tundu buli ramukaga. Then um to in a family overnight, ngenaku zomwezi musanvu, omwezi gwa october, so ngena kusaba, omwezo gujevla yola I think two weeks. So kolenteke ko kuvera wanone family yo, molinya liamu kama wa fe yesu Christo, to swa, kolabuli chosuba la chono kuvera wano. Tugenda kuwa tuwa ujulizi Atenga wa tufunani vya magere vipia Molinyari ya Yesu Christo Amen, let's praise the Lord Let's praise the Lord In the name of Jesus Yes, so sweet. Yes, so sweet. Yes, so sweet. 
I'm the light of the world. 
to counting my blessings. Banage, together. Oh, I feel alright. Hey, God, the power and the spirit in my life today. Shatayana, I feel alright. Chicole and Gomoya to Demu Guaculu Kutesan, you hallelujah. By Buddha Gama Mubomini Mamika, it just sang your Chikulu Kuta. Are you ready to show it? What I get so Chiraga, Uganda Kaiga to Kaimbe. Are you ready? You're going to be singing after me. What? Oh, I feel all right, Fena. Shiba Woodida, Fena. Oh, I feel all right. I feel all right, everybody. Oh, hey, got the power and the spirit in my life. Say, got the power and the spirit to demo. Got the power and the spirit in my life. Got the power and the spirit in my life. Hey, one, two, I feel all right. Bala, one, two, I feel all right. Hey. Counting my blessings, them them one by one. Then I counting my blessings. Are you ready to count your blessings? Are you ready to count your blessings? Come on. Oluimba tugenda duiga tuluimba lukola makulu joli. Are you ready? Wana wadi wai ne sanyuli amukama. E sanyuli amukama gemani gani. E sanyuli amukama gemani gani. Are you ready to dance? Hey, together, together. Let me see you dance, everybody. Ay, 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 ay. Do you feel all right in the presence of God? Ay, 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 ay. Hey, together. Oh, I feel all right. Hey, got the power and the spirit in my head. Say now, one. And the spirit, everybody say, Oh, Shatayama, hey, I got the power. Two more, one, everybody say, One, two, I feel I'm counting my blessings. Ay, 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 I feel all right. Oh, I feel all right. Got the power. To get a man of a couple, to get a friend now. One, two, three, four, I feel all right. Sing my blessings. Ay, 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 ay. To them. One, two. One, two, three, four. Ay, ay, ay. Counting my blessings. Ay, 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 ay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I feel alright. Everybody. Counting my blessings. Then they move. Oh, joy. Joy overflow. In my life. I got joy. Joy, 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 with joy, they shall drop from the rivers of salvation. Come on, drop from the rivers of salvation. Drop from the rivers of salvation. The Holy Spirit is that river. It is overflowing. 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 Are you ready to feel all right? Together. Oh. Oh, I feel alright. Hey, God, the power and the spirit in my life. Everybody. Oh, I feel alright. God, the power. Two more. One, two. Everybody say. One, two. I feel alright. I'm counting, counting my blessings. Say, I feel alright. I feel alright. That's a good for everybody. The spirit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I feel alright. Counting my blessings.
Somebody raise up your voice in expectation. Let him fill you to the very point of need. Let him satisfy your desires today. Let Kachuzo Kuyaya na Koralelo. Kubanga Bible ye gambo kuyaya na komu tu kili vukuba kulunji. Shon na choya ya nida. Le komo ya chikuwe mukubela okwe. Shada bayara mo shataya la la la. Father, we worship you. Hedelele boja. Wandi kemi kono jo. Just raise up your hands. Ebi kutawanya neiba wa mujeka masogo. Tunuli la katondo mulamo. Redo shatara baba baba. Hey, na ingi te nere. Muchi fochi no. Nempuri da. Amani ke. Echi tiwa che. Chila bisi balelo, oh puli la Yesu, haliwa no. Zepwe na ingi te, hey, muchi fochi no. Ne puli la amani ke, echi tiwa che. Chila bisi walelo, hom puri la esu, he waliwa no, ye wabela, ye wabela. Watu kufu ya tula, e yon songa rachi ya kufula, mutu kufu ye wabela, kubanga ni mukwe wakaya kanaa. 
Come fill us. Come use us. For your glory. For your anointing. For your blessing. In the name of Jesus. I believe that God is going to pour his special anointing upon you today in the name of Jesus. Let me request the ushers to dismiss the Holy Communion. You're welcome to our morning service. Our first service. Service I know God is going to bless you. And uh, let me invite people, two or three people, if you have a testimony and you can share it quickly. Thank you so much, choir, for that powerful ministry. The presence of God is so strong here. Let's hear those testimonies quickly. We want to thank all of you who were able to make it to the crusade in Gaza Chitetika. May God bless you. And those of you who supported uh, Lovely in her introduction last Sunday, last Saturday. May God bless you abundantly. Let's hear the testimonies quickly. Don't stand behind me. You stand that side. So Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Nebazam Kamorona Kurale. I thank God for today. Nebazam Kamorobla Muang, any family. For my life and my family. I'm standing here on behalf of the women. I'm inviting women to come and pray. Welcome the women to come and pray. You will not know how to pray if you don't join us. You may be there and you say, I don't know how to pray. But it's, the fire, it's this wood that helps the other to lit up a fire. And iron sharpens iron. Ladies, come and be sharpened. And I'm welcoming ladies in ministry. We're going to hospitals. We even visit prisons. We're welcoming women to join no in this ministry. And your giving also is welcome. God bless you. The women, they are doing a powerful thing every Saturday. I, I come here to bring my wife and pick her up. Lots of women are coming to pray. And uh, then they took so many things to the hospital in Kawempe. They have a letter and permission to do it. To take the things in the end of the week, but to do to take the things in the weekdays. But to do ministry every weekend, they are to go and preach to them. We don't take that for granted. I heard from other pastors, they had been stopped, they weren't given permission. So we have a written letter from the hospital principal. And uh, so take advantage of that. Those are the acts of kindness that come from you being knowing Christ. That's what Christ in you does. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Muteri. I thank God for the anointing in this place. Praise the Lord. Me and my wife were attached. When we were starting to build in Mitiana, we started to build in Mitiana. I told my wife, I think we need to get a seed and go to the man of God. 
Twama lukulanga mama mchala wangi ya liya wonye uluvanyi mawe sente nji kwa tumazo kuspendi nga. After we saw that my mother-in-law got healed after spending a lot of money on her. Netugamba eno moment ya family ya. And we said this moment is ours. Nengamba muzei. I told pastor. Tuine nsigo ya fe. We have our seed. Neba zaka tonda kuruo musumba wangi. I want to thank God for my pastor. Kubanga atuwa gali zebiru. Because he wishes us good things. We got a seed of five millions. We wanted to start to build. Mzee inatutuale wa Pastor Kayanji. Mzee took us to Pastor Robert Kayanji. Netu wayo sentezo. And we planted our seed. That we have seen God building for us. Praise the Lord. Tuzimbe chizimbe six bedroom. We have built a six bedroom house. Praise the Lord. But we've seen God bringing money. And we've seen God giving us more land. Praise the Lord. The Lord has been talking about building here. There is power in the seed. We say we want to thank you. Thank you so much. The people but we want to thank God who is in heaven and the anointing at Miracle Center. If you want to build, get up and shout. Let the anointing come upon you. Let Christ come upon your life. She will go to build speedily in Jesus' name. It's the anointing that builds. It's the Holy Ghost that builds the world. Whatever God spoke and became to be. When you understand the Anointing, life gets easy for you. Some people don't know it, but I pray that God will open your eyes. It's the Holy Ghost that builds. So the Bible says, if God doesn't build, then those we build, build in vain. Yeah. We are on the whole plate right now. We are going to put there even tiles. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I also want to thank God for the anointing in this place. I want to thank Pastor Robert and Mami Rose. Thank you so much for praying for us. You prayed for people that needed visa. My son had already wanted to travel. I want to thank God he got a visa. Last Sunday he traveled. Now I got a visa and go look and go for now. I'm after. If you need a visa, you get up, shout, and receive the anointing. Olaza, oh, 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 oh I have a daughter. She's working in Munyonyo somewhere. But they have a branch in Entebbe. So she was, she was taken to the branch to work in Entebbe. Then she drove coming back to Kampala. She was on, on the express highway. She was accelerating too fast. And she, got, she got a muscle pull in her leg. The, one that, the right one that is on the accelerator. And the muscle pull she drove she was saying she was trying to change the leg and then it was a speeding and she was scared. She was in the car shouting, praying, calling on the name of God. But towards Bwaiise, cars were just leaving. The one went on the other lane. She would see death. 
Thank God. When she was about to reach the The muscle left. In the whole fear. Parked somewhere. Called a friend. Victor Cash. She could not drive again. She was full of fear. I want to thank God. God. Thank God. For the protection of our children. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No death is going to come. In the name of Jesus. Women are encouraged. Come and we pray. Prayer there is power. Sometimes because you speak of those hours. Because you pray from 6.30 up to 8.30. You think you would be sleeping at that time. Let me give these hours to you in the presence of God. We pray for our children. We pray for our families. Protection of our children. I have seen protection over children. children. I give glory to God. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I'm grateful to God for protecting my family. My child got sick and I took the child to the hospital and they said they are going to put him him on oxygen because he was very acute. But I prayed and I told God, it's you who gave me the child. This is your child. The following day, the child was okay. They didn't even put him on oxygen. Now the child is healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That's a baby child. Oh, you know. A miracle child. One of our chamagero. Yaringa, what you would mean, but on it. Sato. She had miscarried. She came here believing God. We told her to walk over here. You will have a baby. Now there, the baby is not going to die. It's going to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Nasazi Robina. Thank God for this place. For pastors. This place works for me. It took me from somewhere and it's taking me somewhere. Praise the Lord. On Thursday, I fell down. It was a terrible falling. I could not walk quick, everything. I got bruises. I want to thank God that I am here. The last uh, night. Slept around past midnight. But I woke up at one. I was speaking with the dead. I could, my tongue could not go up. I could not speak. I couldn't get out of bed. My heart was so pumping and throbbing. I could not see. And yet I had a dream of not when I was blind two times. But I prayed to God. Because I became weak. There's a scripture in Judges 5 12. They wake up, wake up, Deborah. I said, God, let me God is good. I want you to to die. Raise your hands. Call on the name of yes. Jesus. You are not going to die. That spirit of death, I take authority over you because I've been given the power. I rebuke you, spirit of death. I break the agreement with death. I break the covenant with death. Be broken now. Receive the anointing to live. That dream will not come back. The spirits of the dead. They want to come up to you. I refuse them and I command them to leave. The anointing overcomes it. The anointing overcomes the gates of hell. Get off her life. Get off her life. Call on the name of Jesus. The anointing comes over you right now. She will leave. She will leave. 
Ogenda kubera mulamu. You will leave. Ogenda kubera mulamu. You will leave. Ogenda kubera mulamu. You will leave. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are entering a covenant. This is a covenant of life. Jesus said, eat this as often as you will in remembrance of me. Everything he ever did, you are going to see it again. You are going to see his power. You are going to see miracles. Your life is going to turn around every day. Every time we remember him, he remembers his promises. That's the reason why he taught them in Egypt they should do a feast of a Passover that was a prophetic proclamation that Christ is our redeemer and they did stay in captivity because God had remembered his covenant this morning as we remember our Lord He's going to remember his covenant he made. It will be fulfilled in a life. No powers of Hades will stay in your life. Everything is breaking tonight. Lord, I thank you for your grace and your presence and the anointing that is present. Whosoever shall be part of this covenant, let their lives be changed tonight in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. You may take the bread and drink the cup. Just clap your hands to Jesus. Yes. Yes. I said, clap your hands and welcome the anointing. As you love it. Do you know that God is going to make you rich? God is taking you out of debt. God is educating your children. He's opening doors of blessings. Hallelujah. Seka, 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 seka. Glory. Let me tell you a secret. Where God is, there is no sorrow. That's, that's when you recognize who is present, whether it's the devil or Satan. Because the Bible says in the full in the presence of God. There is fullness of joy, and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. The choir was singing about joy. Joy is not from what you get, but from where you are and who is with you. If you're in the presence of God, there is joy. It's also a fruit of the Spirit. It's also a definition of the, of the kingdom. Let me 
Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost is the kingdom of God. So, so when they are not engaged, there is joy. And there is peace. Not just peace, but even liberty, freedom. Today I'm not going to shout. Sometimes we, we think power is in the shout. Don't shout a lot. Bals broke shout hours and nothing was coming out. A prophet of God spoke in a few sentences and fire came down. You are going to see the presence of God in your life. There is something that God is building. After you receive a revelation, God begins to build on the revelations you have received. There are so many in Israel that even don't acknowledge Jesus because their eyes are blinded. They don't see. Praise, Praise be to God. Your eyes opened and you saw the salvation of God. Now let me tell you. He didn't save you to see you. The one who saved you is going to heal you. He's going to make you prosper. You bless your children. This God will build a house for you. God will take you to nations. This God is going to go up and doze for you. He builds on the revelation that you receive. That's why when he asked people, who do they think I am? Other and they speak. Other think Elijah. And one of the prophets. Okay. Who do you think I am? Peter Nagamba. And Peter answered, You are the Christ, Christo. the Son of the Living God. Oh, man, our and he Blessed said, Blessed are you. Where do you see that? Other translation says happy. It says blessed. It says happy are you. Switch it the way. You can't get that revelation and stay grooming. And you stay miserable. And you stay poor. And you stay lacking. And you stay cast. And you stay sick. Once you know who Christ is, you understand his anointing and his power. That's the beginning of blessings in your life. Mr. Mtebi has given you a revelation. A a the house they have built. Never they, a million tan. They gave five millions. And the anointing spoke. Eh? Mm -hmm. The word spoken under the influence of the anointing. It's what shout, but they had no authority. I will show you from scripture that uh, the anointing both carries the power and the authority. Have you met some mad people on the road? They even try to stop their cars. But people look at them, they have no authority. And they don't have the power. So they are stopping the car. Mad person. They just even so you can do the same actions that the people with authority do. With the power. 
But the difference is where there is power and authority, there are results. In the kingdom of God, results speak for themselves. That's why Jesus said, yes, Chavagamba, if you don't believe me because of what I say, at least believe me because of the works. Because the works speak for themselves. My words can be like anybody's works. Let's Leave talk alone. Begin to look at the works. Let me tell you, the anointing has works. The anointing produces results. Hello. I say the anointing produces results. Now, yes, Nagamba. Jesus said, You're blessed. Where do you Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my, my Father in heaven. And he began to say, I tell you, you are Peter. On this rock. Now, when, how is the switch? Simon, Simon means a shaking reed. He's talking to the same person. In two sentences, he addresses him differently. What does it mean? The you who is from flesh and blood, you can be shaken. Because of where you come from, your education, the struggles, who your mother is, where you were born, who, who, where you work, what kind of salary. That's a very shaky foundation. God can't build anything on that. But once you get the revelation, your name changes. I don't know his, if it's You're no understand. longer that of the Mbogokiran or the Ankima or the Ansenene or whatever. You are now a kingdom person. You become a rock. Huh? Now here in this sentence, some people mix up. Peter also means a rock. It's like how you say it in Uganda. Huh? How do you call a big rock in Uganda? Then how do you call a piece taken from that rock? Huh? So this rock here, Petros, is cut now, no longer from his clan, but cut from the big rock, which fills the whole earth. That's why the Bible says, we are living stones. You and I and all of us are part of the building of God. Which final building is going to fill the whole earth? That's the revelation that Daniel got. This stone that was cut by a human hand fell down and became a huge, huge mountain that filled the whole earth. You yourselves are like living stones being built up into a spiritual house. First Peter 2 5. It's not a family house or a clan house. Or it's a spiritual. It's a work of the spirit. And you are okay. A spiritual house. Huh? To be a holy priesthood. You write that down. We are being built up. 
in order to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Christ. So that's what God is building up. Let me tell you this. Let me whisper to you a secret. That the anointing is building up a people that can never be shaken. We are rising up as a family of priesthood that can never fail. That your seed no longer becomes just a seed but a spiritual sacrifice. Why? You're part of the new lineage of priesthood. You're offering it to God through Christ. Let me tell you that God, you don't understand that language. The language you understand is this one. That's why Jesus said, I have told you other things you don't you have not understood. you understand when I tell you heavenly things? Now let me talk to you in the language you understand. God is building a very people winners. Houses with six bedrooms. Eh? with six bedrooms. On the same village where you came from and you can you your father disowning and chasing out of his no own You are crying with your, with your case. Kati ya munonya, ayagala. That the whole village would know. This one entered into another lineage. Now we're part of that lineage. We don't offer clan sacrifices. We, we offer spiritual sacrifices. <laughs> Through Christ. Who is the rock. And the foundation. Okay, let's go back that way to Matthew. The Holy Spirit is at work here. <laughs> now, God is building something not on, based on your clan, based on your education, based on your height. It, it's based on the revelation of Christ your heart. Huh? Let me tell you this. I've seen some of the shortest people doing things that you, you don't give to their height. Why? It's not about height. It's not even about looks. Dr. Joel Hunter who was the pastor of, of Northland Church? Dr. Joel Ante, Ali, pastor is, Northland. I think, five foot or even four something. I have pictures when I've, I'm standing with him. And and he, he, he stops me here. But he was the pastor of President Barack Obama. He attended every state function that involved the prayer. He wrote a devotion for the president. And every week, they were on a phone conversation. And he was mentoring him. But the man is this short. He... He started pastoring that church when it was 300 people. In about three years to ten years, the church grew to 20,000 members. So it's not about your height. It's not about your color. It's not about your education. Or you, where you came from. Or who gave birth to you. It's the revelation of the anointing you have. The one who have understood it, clapping hands. Others have left these things for others. You're part of this spiritual house that God is building. And now, he says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So God is building the church. 
I will show you what the church is. The other translation is also called it a congregation. But a church it has a Greek word ecclesia. That's what the Catholics actually got the word ecclesia. That's not a Catholic word. It's a Greek word. So that we, the Italians took it over uh, and the English but this is the meaning of it. It means you are drawn out. You are drawn out to congregate. So in the whole world, there is a group of people who are drawn out. So when they are drawn out from the world, that's why Jesus said, where two or three are in my name, there I am. Again, it's not about the numbers, but the revelation. But once the men get the revelation, the numbers come automatically. Because this kingdom is going to fill the whole earth. Your influence. Let me give you this. <laughs> that scripture, we are not going to get there today. It's in Zachariah. It says, through prosperity, the cities are going to be spread wide. So people who don't understand the gospel and the building and how God works, they talk against prosperity. They should be living in the village. People who talk against prosperity. They should, they should use nothing about in the city. Let them go back and live in the Stone Age. But God's design is this that through you, cities are going to be spread wide. But cities are not just this spirit. This physical building. Cities are built because somebody got a revelation. There is no reason why Kampala is the one that became a city. But yet the colonial seat was in Tebe. There is something that happened for Kampala to become a city. Huh? The coming of the gospel in Uganda. Uganda. The death of the martyrs here. Things began to span. You can't separate prosperity from the revelation of the gospel. It's because God is revealed that the people begin to prosper. We are not going to go there now. But one of the things that is a gate of hell is called poverty. Because there is nothing poor about God. I don't know why people associate poverty with God. Yet, of God, there is nothing poor about him. So that's the first gate of hell that's going to be, to be broken in the name of Jesus. And you're going to prosper according to the revelation of Christ you have. And that's why right. The, the Bible says, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Your soul, soul comprises of your mind, your will, and your emotions. Your mind, your will, and your emotions. Huh? Those things have to prosper. If you give 
Prosperity is not just money. If you give money, even though it's a hundred million, to a man whose mind has not been illuminated. You know what they will do? They will, they will first walk away from their first wife. Then they marry about eight women. Then they begin to give money to all the in laws. Then you give this man like two years. He will go back full circle. So your mind has to change. Your will has to change. Your emotions. Your soul has to change. It's everything gets to be lined up. That's why we labor in the word. The spirit in you is a is a renewed spirit. It's after Christ. The battle even this morning is against your mind. Because you grew up when your mother is telling you we have nothing. We have nothing. We have nothing. We have nothing. We have been trained up to accommodate and tolerate the poverty and it has taken years. So Christ is already in you. This morning, your mind has to change to line up with the Christ in you. I said you, something has to go up in your mind. Tap! And then you begin to talk. Some people say nothing. No, in this kingdom we talk. Once it goes off in your mind, yeah? mm -hmm. your mind actually is also called your loins. That's your production area. Then you begin to talk. And once your talk is, which is coming from your mind. Once you begin to say you are the Christ, the Son of the Living God, then heaven begins to build. Because you're now lining up. Your talk is lining up with the Christ who is in you. And your talk is coming from your renewed mind. Your soul that has been converted. So this morning is a morning of conversion. You are not going to stay poor. You are not going to stay sick. You are not weak. You are not a loser. You are not a nobody. You are not a mediocre. You are a child of a king. You are part of what God is building. We are a kingdom of winners and overcomers. We are all shining stars. We are the champions of this morning. Somebody stand up and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -mm. Okay, let's go back to the normal gear. I okay. promise myself we are not going to shout. <laughs> Let me hallelujah. Amen. So now, he says, now, these things are connected. Look at the next statement. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound. And whatever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Listen to me. Once you get the revelation of who Christ is, you stop waiting on heaven. Heaven is the one waiting on you. Hello? Wanji. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now, Kati. This morning, 
we are the ones that came out we are the church today we are ecclesia we are drawn out and congregated but this is how it operates church and the kingdom the church is those that are drawn out but we are drawn out in order to be filled transformed not to stay inside the church to take the influence of the king everywhere the kingdom of God is the place of the kingdom is the influence of the king so it does not end in church. Huh? Church is part of the kingdom. The kingdom is everywhere. But everywhere, in order to extend this influence of the king, you have to confront the gates that are there, that limit. That's why, once you get infused with the revelation, the revelation is the key. The revelation is the door opener. Huh? Yeah. Once, once Peter got the revelation, he said, I'm not building my church. So like we have come here, we are the church. But once we go out, we go out with the keys. These keys are not physical. These keys are in our new Transform the person who is now filled with Christ on the inside, on the thinking, and in their talk. And once you step out like this, you begin to say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. He who knew no sin became sin that I may become the righteousness of God. Once you step out to Kampala, you begin to say, by the grace of God, I understand that he was rich, became poor, that by his poverty, I may be rich. I'm stepping out to be rich in Kampala. That is the key. Don't wait for money. Get the keys. And every Monday, you are going to prosper. Every Tuesday, you are going to prosper. Every Wednesday, you are going to prosper. That is why we come to be infused and filled. We come to renew. We come to refill. We come to refuel that once we go out we are going to shine brighter and the power is in our talk the keys So people live here destined to do big things that have never been done in their family. Someone leaves the presence of God. We took him. We prayed for him. I watched I don't know if it is. It doesn't touch people's It is you that needs to be But it touches But it touches his He was visa. Now the anointing changes your talk. When you leave, you leave the and from the influence of the anointing. You're now a, a heavenly ambassador. ambassador you are your part of the push movement. Wherever you are, you pull heaven down. 
Once you say something, it is said also in heaven. Once you say, I'm rich, heaven agrees and says, yes, he's rich. Not because of his family, but because of Christ. Okay, send down those dollars. Ah. Once you refuse, this is the binding. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be barren. This lady here, we just talked. And on that day, by the way, she didn't fall down. I just told her, you're going to have a baby. Just walk here. So heaven knew that I'm one of the ambassadors here. What I say is backed up by heaven. So on that day, whatever used to take the babies out of her womb stopped here because I released a baby. Huh? <laughs> and it's not a by accident. It's now a sequence. Here it happens. Here we give out babies. We lose babies and they are released. Another one is there. Get up on your feet. Joyce, with your baby, baby no, Walu. Where is your baby? Mukwateko. Touch the baby. How many years were you waiting for the baby? How many years were you waiting for the baby? Huh? Emeka? Etano. Five years. Were you for the Muko and Buto? Ned. Golins of Lins. Gatevaja. And she's married. I know, much, I know mommy. She has a husband. But we spoke here. Let her get up. Carry your baby like this. She carried. Now that is a boy. The father is happy. <laughs> but as she told me. Can I say it over the microphone? Eh? Because it will even ah, another is coming <laughs> on the way. Pastor pray. I want a baby girl. And they say, okay. Let the baby be a girl. In this kingdom, we have to agree. Two, 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 three have to agree and Christ is their midis. two, 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 Kuanga ne Christo abi kura kuita mu about you being rich we have to agree about you getting a child we have to agree Mary had to agree with the angel Zechariah wanted to argue with the angel the angel said you want to speak again in heaven we don't deal with Mukuru Zechariah geza wangu wakanya mwa kono cha buni na tocha kuna mukogera Mukuru ebi tumi kanya ako. For nine months, a man didn't talk. Some of you, if you still want to stay here, but because of your argumentative spirit, you may go down until you get a car, then you begin talking. Or you keep quiet by choice. When you understand, whenever I speak, I have a fasting, and the fasting is not a food of getting quiet silence. Because your tongue is not trusted with big things. In this kingdom, we talk. Somebody say we talk. That's how we release cars. That's how we release money. That's how we release visas. That's how we release weddings. And once you leave, then we begin to see the kingdom of God spreading everywhere. Let, let me show you this. Are you picking up something? Are you picking up something? 
You were not here in the midweek services. We talked about the church in the wilderness. Acts 7, 38. The church in the wilderness had no problem with what to eat, what to drink, what to wear, and where to sleep. I said the church. Do you understand? Don't use congregation. Switch translation. So, that wilderness church was referred to as a church. Why? Because they were called out of Egypt. And because they were church. Huh? They weren't poor. They weren't sick. Their clothes did not turn out. Their shoes did not get flat. And the Bible calls it a shadow. Huh? Those things, that covenant was a shadow of better things to come. If the church in the shadow cab covenant enjoyed clothing without their clothes getting torn. We are going to dress. Let us agree on that one. Hey, in a gospel of not putting on well, we are going to dress smartly. Bible, in the Bible, they are clothes. 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 They under the new covenant, we refuse old clothes. Let's agree that Christ will be revealed in you. That church did not have, did not go hungry. They ate manna. Everyone say manna. Man. Do you know what you have just said? Manna means what is this? So those people every day ate what they did. Say so what is this? Every day they were eating. What does it if you get the revelation, you will eat something new every day. What is this? What is this? So God is about to surprise you every day. God surprised them for 40 years. There was a miracle of food. God surprised them. Huh? And the only day the manna stopped is when they ate of the food of the promised land. So if you're in transition, if you're still a baby Christian, may God give you manna every day. If you have entered the promised land, may you take over plantations you never planted. So there is no room for lack anywhere. The only betrayal was there not believing. Those that didn't believe, the Bible don't even call them dying. They say they fell. They fell in the wilderness. For us, we are not going to fall. Let me tell you this. We are going to stand by our word. We are going to stand by the word of the living God. Every day, we release life. Let me tell you. Even when you have no food. Don't say I have nothing to eat. You, can I tell you the language? You better say it's not true. I have not reached the time, my time of eating. Change the language. We are not going to lack food. If God feeds the birds, it's going to feed you. If God clothes the lily, God is going to clothe you. If God provided even drink, huh? eh? 
The Bible says, Bible they drank from the spiritual, the same spiritual rock that followed them. They walked with their drink and it was in the wilderness. When everybody was dry and thirsty, Christ is your drink and you move with it. Ah, how can you lack? Let me tell you. Can I tell you this? Can I tell you? Do you want to get a revelation? Can I give you something simple? Huh? Very simple. If you ever understand that this is Try as much as possible to be a blessing to them. That's how you're going to be blessed. Oh, Let me give you a story. We talk about it. Jesus said, yes, I tell you, whoever shall give a cup of cold water or a cup of water to any of these in my name, they shall in no way miss their reward in heaven. How are these things connected? So, which means, Pastor? I drink on behalf of heaven. When you give me something to drink, I drink, but heaven is paying. <laughs> and he says, not even... To these little ones. Young one. Come. Eh? Whoever ten Matthew ten forty two. Whoever shall give unto these little ones a cup of cold water. How can you cover a cold water without a fridge? So let's even uh, close up the fridge thing. Whoever is here, may God give you a fridge. Because you're not supposed to give me warm water. According to the scriptures. <laughs> no, no. No, no, you don't give him cold water. It has to be a cup of what? Only in the name of a disciple. Shall I say unto you, shall no wise lose his reward in heaven? Which means, you will close, you will eat, you will drink, but heaven is paying. Heaven is paying. So when you live here, don't betray ice and begin saying, oh, 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 Let's build some kingdom houses. Let's buy cars. That are of the anointing. Let's put on some clothes. We have a real bank better than these Do you banks. Bank I said we have a better bank. Do you bank a better bank? Huh? Yeah. A bank has our one. The banks here. This bank of Uganda here. Yeah, Uganda one. There are some potholes even near this bank of Uganda. bank of Uganda behind it. That road between Imperial and what? There are potholes. But the bank for which I work, the streets are of gold. So who do you want to work for? I said, who do you want to work for? Uh, today I'm recruiting heavenly ambassadors. Those who are going to work and talk on behalf of the kingdom. None of you have understood. You can't be a member of this church and talk small. Me, I used to 
when I was walking with my fiance, I couldn't afford even transport of a taxi, but I was talking about planes. You make somebody go to the market. You make somebody go to the market. You make somebody to the market. You make somebody go to the market. You make somebody go to the to the market. You to You are not talking about what you are doing. You are to the plane. Hey, yeah. One day we were without the plane. I think I had even bought the whole plane. We need to agree. You can't have Christ and talk cheap. Women that are here. Huh? Yeah. You're married to a king. You're the queen. Queens don't quarrel. You saw the queen. Whatever your queen. She would just talk softly. Just talk and say, I believe in you. You're my king. You go to the seat and win. Money is going to follow you. You're my big size. Big size. <laughs> Let me show you. Let's go to Christ. Let me show you this. In Luke chapter 10. I mean chapter 4. Verse 18. Let me show you how the anointing is released through talk. Verse 18. Verse 17 it says. He found where it was written. Uh -huh. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. The first gate of hell the anointing will deal with is called poverty. There will be no one poor here. Huh? I said here there will be no one poor. You may you may be not having where to sleep, but you are not poor. Why? What? Christ in you, the hope of glory. Do you know what it means for Christ to be in you? Let me say it in the, in the simple, understandable language. How many of you have Christ in you? You are the headquarters of heaven here in Uganda. So he talked. That was his agenda. That was his manifesto. I'm not going to go to that. You go past it. Because our time is gone. Sometimes I give more time to this morning service more than the others. Go. Go. Go quickly. And he put back the scroll and gave it to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all sat down. Were fixed on him. I want you to look at 21. And he began to say, Once the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, you begin to say things that are not in your family. Huh? Some people read, but because they have no revelation, then they go away and say negative things. Oh, they say nothing. Under the anointing, after we read, we become imitators of Christ. Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. When do you want scripture to be fulfilled in your life? Huh? Now, you are seated like that. We know you get up. Have to say by revelation. <laughs> he began to say. Now, what he was saying was full of authority and power. I want you to listen today. 
Somebody said today, you have become rich. Today, you are totally healed of all your sicknesses. Today, how many of you believe in the Great Commission? The Great Commission starts in Jerusalem, but it ends in the uttermost parts of the world. Everyone who believes in the Great Commission needs to get a passport. Amen. The passport I don't want to preach with people who have no passport. Which means you're going to travel the whole world. Now listen to this. Somebody said today, I'm beginning to say. What are you saying? Remember, the key is in what you say after you've gotten the revelation of Christ. Once you say, you are losing. You are untying. You married a woman never say your husband is poor. You will be the one binding poverty on the family. Because whatever you bind on earth is bound in what? Never say there are some married men that say my trouble began that day I married when people come around and talk and they say don't, please don't let's talk about what you're going through but don't say that about your wife you are putting problems you are a kingdom ambassador from today let's begin to say I'm the good news to my family Huh? From today, let's begin to say our church is the best. We have the most anointed choir. Our people dress the best. And we have cars packed everywhere. Including yours. Okay, some of you have not been saying it, <laughs> but <laughs> he began. Today we are beginning. How many of you have smartphones? You post. Some of you never post anything about your church. Do you believe in the anointing here? You share everything about every part and everything happening. And you know, <laughs> Some people share everything about everything everywhere. You don't believe. But from today, we are going to begin to say our church is the best. Huh? At our church, we stay married. We marry for life. Somebody begin to say it now. At our church, money is not a problem. Can I tell you this? Me, here, at this church, we don't need a Muchuba to raise money. Here, our people listen to the anointing. Here, people pledge and fulfill. And we give the most money when our pastor is the one preaching. We don't need a prophet to come and. and Some pastors say, Jango and Quatra, Mavan, they were fitted. In our church. No, 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 no. I just want you to get the revelation. Let's begin to say, Here we graduate. Here, School fees is not a problem. Our children are taught of the Lord. Ah, here we are owners of factories. This one came with this car. Everyone. It is over here. Now it was an area and Did you come with the other? That what did they say? Where did you live? 
Ojire se waka. Kato dayo jire kayo. Kato ndaso la kuwa moto kana hata kuwa mafuta. Car can't give you a car and doesn't provide fuel. Inze nagano kutambla na haka domo la mumoto kene mpia. Miaka musa. Seven years. In a new car, I refuse to move. Ewe vya haka domo la vya hako mamulebe kwa kwa corona. Stop in the, with the corona car. Kato onda. Da. At what the amafut. He has given us the road. What I want to tell you. These two people have two cars in the family. But their mother works in the market. That money. Those cars were not bought with the money from their clan. Amafuta kagave moto ka. They are not in provides cars. Let's begin to say it here. But I got you get that one. No. Abana bafebo nabo nabaga tiwe mbaga. All our children get married in holy matrimony. They introduce. Era wano. And here. Hoo hoo hoo. Ate. Amafuta ken sabamu kama kati ncho gela kera anga ingi demo. I speak and I read. Mbaga zida konja galabuli mbaga nyambali reke suti impia. Then every wedding in me put on a new suit. He began to say. Ya tani kukuo gela. <laughs> and when he began to say that verse 22 says they all marveled at the gracious words coming out of his mouth and he began to say is this not the son of Joseph from today because of the anointing of the Holy Spirit people are going to marvel at the gracious words they don't look like you're a son of Joseph you're going to talk you're not like you're from Kawempe huh? you don't sound like you, you, you is for them to marvel. As we live here this morning, may under the anointing, may you be a marvel and a wonder. May every word coming out of your mouth be a wonder. Eh? Hey. Hey. I was talking to a pastor friend of mine who was, who was traveling. May God give you big things. May God give you big things. You're going to have businesses. You're going to carry bags of money. You're going to carry bags of money. You're going to God is going to give you money. Still loving that woman, she has favor. The first guy you ever buy, give it to her. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. Listen. There's a pastor I was talking to. And he said, I have to look for Muzei. Muzei was on clock tower. Preaching. And he said, I'm seeing a flyover. Never fly over one. The very place he was standing ah, in 1995. There is a flyover Kati in the no same place. Fly. In this kingdom, how God builds is by saying, We begin. If you hadn't, begin now. I said, Begin now. You know, the, the other day, I was at home and there was a crusade that is happening somewhere in Kawempe Mbogo. The programmer. programmer I was hearing him say, God has a miracle with your name written on it. That saying you began somewhere is now going everywhere. Even non-believers will believe. That's how we announced the miracle crusade. Those who want to come, come. Those who don't want to come, also come. Our language has to change. Our language is this. We either win or they lose. There is no room for failure in the kingdom. Hey. Mm -mm. Mm. Customers are coming. But customers are judging. Hey, hey. Grandma Faith. 
ba customer ba ino kujia kusaluni yonga bava mukampala bava nebo yokerere once you show up at your place of work you begin to say people are looking for me everybody wants to associate with me every Tani ko kuogera. Begin to say. Inti bu buri mutwe guenvi guen kuatamu. Whatever hair I touch. Afumbirwa. They get married. Inse buri guen kuatamu. Whoever I touch in their head. Hey. Buri viri zen kuatamu. Whatever hair I touch into. Mba musimulu de genda kuanjua. I list them to go to be introduced. Agenda nga msaja muno nyia. A man looks for them. You can't talk negative under the anointing. The people began to marvel at their gracious words. Gracious words. This year is the year of building. This year is the year of the anointing. May God give you the desire of your heart. Come back and I put my hand on you. I say you're a winner. I say you're a rich woman. All your troubles have ended today. They are over. You begin to laugh. The anointing is on you. The power is on you. You dance and celebrate. <laughs> and now listen to this. This is the best part. Do you want to know? This is the best. Verse 32. And they were astonished at his, for his teaching possessed authority and the power. Uh -huh. 32 is saying, it his word possessed authority. His word possessed what? Somebody say authority. That the anointing is what puts authority in on our word. When you live here, go and study. Go and build. Go and get married. Go get married. Go and get married. Go start an arcade. Huh? Those words I'm speaking. They have the authority of the anointing. Verse 36. They were amazed and said to one another, What is this word? What is this word? For with authority and the power. Somebody say authority and power. Authority and power. Let me tell you. That's what God has given us. Jesus said all the power and authority in heaven and yeah. under the earth has been given unto me. Go ye therefore. We have authority and power to give people holy matrimony. This one was asked that worry. So that they wanted him to quit. The wife. The people in her tribe, they don't believe him. No. They said no. How can we tell him? How can we stop him? 22 million. See you. They asked him on Monday. They, they, they looked at him. 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 They were counting on the, the earthly father. That he has a heavenly father. Using a white man. This one used to tell me. My father is asking me. But to Sabadi, but to Sabadi, the door and how but This one thinks they want to stop you. Who is loaded? 
Asking when and how much. Somebody say we have. Here we have power over money. I said we have power and authority. We are not crazy. These days. Police yategera intaba traffic by no authority. Police understood that traffic guys have authority. But people started to put in some rules. They don't fear that. The president nala gira uli awadi about traffic wa berewa we moon. Let there be a, somebody with a gun. Kato damo no zani sawa traffic. Now joke with the traffic. Ao kulodi block haru evi intu evi. Walu authority. With authority. Eri mu chambalo. In the in ne wabira one power. And Power. <laughs> we have both in the church. We are not crazy. The things we speak happen. We bind demons. Firing squad. Mama called me that that demon was coming. They want to do what? Pastor, pastor, musumba, musumba. Help me the child and I don't know whether you've come to the church. I don't need to come to church. Demons should not even make a program for me. <laughs> Is the, the child there? Take a case. Put on the phone. Demons were shouting. I can't speak when you were speaking. Musirike. What? Ah ah. We are not going to be quiet. Let's say to take her. I've told you be quiet. I want to speak with the demons. I'm not speaking to demons. We are letting ah, ah, it. I'm not speaking with you. I need to ask you. And I started to pray. When I was praying. Demons increased. I'm praying. Let me tell you. It's not in how loud we are all shouting. It's not in how loud we are all shouting. I told Stop. Them, them, all of you be quiet. I'm the one praying. Quiet. It's, it's about power and authority. I said, no, all of I don't know where I have ever sent you. I'm giving you two things. Either you go into the world or you, or you go back to the one who sent you. But leave. After I started to talk to the child, na, na and the child was responding to me. Say, how are you feeling? Okay. Begin to speak. Demons are good. The devil never come back. I told them, Mama, the child is something to drink. Every time you come to the church, you say, Mama, I need to drink. 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 It's the power and authority. It's not by the way in how loud we shout. Prophets of bad are even cut We are not prophets of bad. No. no. We have authority to it over you. And power. We have fire power here. We are going to begin but to right mission. now you are on a mission. Wherever you live here, go and look for demons on the village. Yeah. Are you scared of devils? Is there somebody who is somebody had a bad dream over here? That's the church. Me, I'm equipping you. My work is to come here equip you. My work is to come here and equip you. To go back home and take care of my wife. Because she's my first church. Then you do the work of the ministry. You come back and you refill. Go and make money. You ashakayanda baba. Ngambi again do no nyemi zimu do to do. Look for demons. Wapodo abaku vuga muzo inamo kumuzimu. You have a demon in you. But don't cast it out when he's driving. <laughs> My manifest and 
Boda, boda, so, so, so tell him to park. Power and what? Amani, you know, uchi? Wings. Authority. Let me tell you this as we wind up. Prophecy says, talking about Jesus, he shall not shout in the streets. He will not raise his voice. He just, this is his word. They said, what is this word? Jesus has to speak one word. Pastor, what are you going to say? You have to say, you have to say, you have to say, you have to say, what do you mean? How many of you saw that miracle? You were there and finished. He has an X-ray. He has a menyeka. That man. He got healed in one pair. He came with two crutches. Me that was my miracle. Do you know the miracle? On the power of He wants a miracle. This, this is not yet done. Jesus has started working. Stay with your crutches. After four days, you won't need the day. So we are on program on, on Friday. They brought two miracles. The one who left the crutches and, we, and they brought that one. And they ended up they say, telling the man, go with your crutches. After four days, you won't need them. program even had to put that one there. People may think the man did not walk. See how the Holy Spirit brought a man on the crusade. Testify. Exactly after four days, he walked out of the bed and never touched the crutches. Like the word of the man of God was. The words spoken to the influence of the anointing of the has power and authority to make you rich, to change your circumstances, to do everything. So you everything. don't play around the anointing. For us to get this land, he touched me and said, it's done. It's over. Done. Came minister joined hands over here. God said, it's done. After two weeks, man sent a dollar. I had asked this branch, I've been busy without sending it to you. Your power, the story has stopped today. Go under the anointing. Money is going to look for you. Go open your doors using your words. The word under the anointing has authority and power. Jesus, we are not supposed to be here like in a shouting competition. Anybody can talk. But where the anointing is, there are results. We have seen it here. People are married who thought they would never get married. People have children. People have built. People have cars. People have traveled. Somebody sent me a message and said, huh. I don't think I told you. But I traveled. Thank you for letting us. Know. May Jesus be with you. Now, even you're going to travel. 
Nambi ugenda kutambula. You are going to travel. Eche chigambo. That word. Chiri kama futa. It has an anointing. Ugenda kuzimba. You are going to build. Family ye genda kubaburu. Your family is going to be well. Enaku ye komalero. Your sorrow stops tonight. Ama futa. The anointing. Gagenda kuzimba. It's going to build you up. God will give glory to you. The world will bow down to you. Oh, shaka maka santa. Sente zigenda kuita jaja. Mane will call you grand pa. Baja kuita anko mane. They will call you anko mane. Oba anti mane. Oba anti mane. Gwenonyo waka 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 tonda. Seek the kingdom of God. Ebida rabi genda kugoverera. Other things are going to follow you. Wano tuwa genda kumera omu avu. No one is going to be poor here. Wano tuwa genda kumera ondu wadi. No one is going to be sick here. Serika venje kagenda kutukako. No accident will befall you. Ogenda kuwanga loda baba na baba na bo. You will not see your children's children. Kubango otia katonda. Because you fear God. Otia katonda. You fear God. You rise up on your feet. Mina kuligireyo. We command unclean spirits to and they come out. Why? Why? We have the power and the authority. You must raise your hands and begin to laugh and speak and release the anointing to fall on you. Agobu gaga, riches, agobu lamu, life, agen mirembe, agobu kuzimba, beauty. We can again a quarter percent is out a quarter. This week you're gonna handle money you've never touched before. Hey, woo! Sekanga wo yogera. Hey, hey, hey. Sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Receive the anointing. Tuara mafuta. Yimo se mikono jo. Raise your hands. Iteri nyari ya yese minunda abide mugumu. Call on the name of Jesus. Amafuta gobo gaga. Age sanyo. Ago ponye zewa. Age mirembe. Gago gaku guako. Comes over you. Behold the hand of God. Lava mani gago. Your power. Ama futa gago. The anointing. Receive. Twara. Receive. Twara. Receive. Twara. Receive. Twara ama futa. Ama futa gago. Ama futa gago. The anointing is coming on you. Receive. Twara. Receive. Twara. Ama mani gago. Power is coming. Togenda kumra cha kulia. Togenda kumra cha kuambala. Touch Holy Spirit. Touch Holy Spirit. I'm after Gago. The anointing is coming. I'm after Gago. The anointing. I'm after Gago. The anointing. Ashes, watch out. Help the people. Receive the anointing. Touch Holy Spirit. Touch Holy Spirit. Receive the power. 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 Focus on the people under the power. You guys get stuck on you. Kingdom has come. I'm after God. Go, Twala. Twala. Take 
Twala, twala, twala. Amani gago, 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 gago. Ogenda gaga wala. Ogenda kuriama wanga. Ogenda kule vitali yo wamwe. Amara ulira ngo muliro. Touch. Touch. Everywhere. Touch. 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 Ashes watch the people under the power. Receive. 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 Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the ghosts. Touch all the ghosts. Gaga, I'm after Gago. There is the Lord. I'm after Gago. There is the Lord. The gentleman who brought the offering ran here with your wife. Run, run, run. I'm after Gaga, go call over Gaga. They are not to create wealth. Touch. Kabare Michael Twara, I'm after. Take the anointing. Touch. Twara, go. Join your hands. Mugenda kubera bagaga. Mugenda kubera bagaga. You are going to be rich. Iteri nyari ya Yesu mirundi musangu. Follow Jesus seven times. Everywhere. Una. That's the anointing. Okay, my puta. That's the power. Okay, man. Today. Uwarelo. Today. Uwarelo. You're receiving that power. Uwarelo, man. Touch Holy Spirit. Uwarelo, come on, my tuku. Touch Holy Spirit. Uwarelo, come Touch. Yes. It's for you and your children. And all those in your family. Receive it. Power. Touch Holy Spirit. Everywhere. Receive. Seka. Love. I'm after Gago, 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 Gago. Gago. I'm after Gago. The anointing is there. I'm after Gago. The anointing over there. Receive. Twara. Receive. Twara. Receive. Twara. Receive. Twara. Gago. There is. I'm after Gago. There is the Lord. Emil Joba of Jigenzi. There was a poverty. Vera Mokaka. Be rich. Vera Mokaka. Be rich. Receive. Twara. Receive. Twara. Receive, receive, gago, gago, gago. Touch Holy Spirit. Everywhere. Touch Holy Spirit. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. The yoke of Pamela is broken. You are blessed. You are rich. You are going to build. You are going to You are anointing. You are a minister. You are Holy Nation, you have job. Kingdom of Scott. Touch. 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 Seka. Love. Just love. Seka. It's a new day. I said it's a new day. Just clap your hands to Jesus. Clap your hands to Jesus. Prepare your tithe and offerings. You give under the anointing. You give under revelation. You give what you've never given before. Use the number on the screen. Use that Airtel code. Star 1854 star 9 star. 
The code is 1177332. Code ID 1177332. Hash. It will bring up Miracle Center Kawempe. We need to be keep using it to keep it active. The money is sent to the bank. We are still giving to the Karamoja cry. There is some money that has come in. We need to be able to take it. Bring also your contribution now. We put together everything as a church and we take it. Then some of you pledge towards the helping us with the overnight. It's just two Fridays away. So if you're buying us a bag of rice, and by the way, invite people. The anointing is so strong in the overnight. Last time we had more food, actually. We even sent some food to the a whole big saucepan of food to the high school. So bring more people. By next Sunday, you know you're going to have a testimony. How many of you believe it? You stand up and laugh. I say stand up and laugh. You're going to have a testimony. I say laugh. You share. Gabana. If you have a smartphone, go and get on the Facebook. Boy, in a smartphone, get on Facebook. Go and share this. Post this message. Miracle Center Kawempe. Miracle Center Kawempe Church, Uganda. Miracle Center Kawempe Church. Or oh, you got Robert Navrede. I've shared it on mine. You can find it there and share it. Share it, share it, share it, share it. Post a comment there. The way first social media works, the more the comments, the more it comes up again and again. And if you've been watching, let us know what God has done in your life. Do you know you're going to be the richest person in your family? Do you believe it? From today, you begin to say it. Under the anointing, the world is going to wonder and say, what word is this? For with authority and the power, he commands and evil spirits go. The first spirit we have commanded to go is the one of poverty. Raise up your hands and command it to go. Get! Command it to go now. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Command a spirit of poverty to go. Katuwa, ono, ono, ayo, karamoja krai, jangofu na envelope. If you're going to give for karamoja krai, karamoja krai, karamoja krai, karamoja krai, karamoja krai, karamoja krai, Overnight, Jangofne envelope. If you're helping us for the overnight, come and get the envelope. Pledge on Kurunyo, Abamu Mucha, Tamuna Marivizayo. Some of you have not. One to Marizayo, we are more one now. Last we finished. Your dollar seed, the dollar seed is not yet. God bless you so much. Atana Lokoka.